morning good morning bcers we are on our way to LaDonna going to her dental appointment at the children's hospital good morning we are going to be driving out of town it's about a 30 minute drive and look at LaDonna LaDonna's looking cute today say hey LaDonna oh, hey good 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 she mm -hmm. look, stop rubbing your fingers together. Mm -hmm. Stop pushing in the nail like that. Uh uh. She love going to children's. I don't know what's the, I don't know what about yeah, children's the kids like. Yeah. I guess it's the atmosphere. I don't yeah. know. But uh, we had tried to take her to another dentist. It's a, it's like a funny story. And you know, by her being special needs, I always said I didn't want my kids to have a jacked up mouth. I didn't want them to have cavities and stuff. And when we found out she had autism and stuff, I, that was one of my main worries. Because she had got um, cavities in her. She had a lot of cavities in her mouth. And she couldn't go to the dentist because she um, wouldn't let people in her mouth like that. So to make a long story short, um, I had took her to Cool Smiles. And we took her to Cool Smiles, and she went to Cool Smiles. And uh, she, <laughs> the lady came in and said, well, they came and got her. And, um, you know, they don't want the parent to go back with her. And so when I went to go get her, they came to get her. She said, I'm scared. I said, what? She said, I'm scared. She never talked to you guys. She said, I'm scared. I said, you scared? She said, she said see? She said, I'm scared. I said, scared? I said, what you scared of? I said, the school bus, baby. People riding the bus. You never rode a bus. Uh, I said, dang. That ain't like her. That's something ain't right. So I went back there with them, and they it tried to x-ray and stuff. Tried looking. She wouldn't let them. So then the um, doctor came. He said, "Well, we're gonna make her refer to Children's." He said, "Does she have um, um, mm -hmm. our kids?" Not that I said, but she got Medicaid because she um qualified for whatever. So yeah, so we took her to Children's. She went to Children's, mm -hmm. and whatever they asked her to do, she did. She wasn't acting crazy, and she wasn't scared. I said, "I don't know what the heck was going on with that." I said, but well, she might have been feeling vibes. I didn't know. You know, I, I couldn't pick up. But yes, she did. Baby, mom, she said she was scared. And I came back home and told my daughter about it. My daughter was laughing. I said, what you laughing for? She said, I don't know. She said, um, did she know? I said, man. I said, look, girl, something else. So we go to Children's for her, her, her um, vision and her teeth. And she's also had a couple of surgeries where she had um they they uh, clean her teeth. They they clean her teeth and they put caps on them. Okay. And she okay. hadn't had them clean uh, real good yeah, since they did them that time. But so we we've been coming up here because what they're trying to basically do is get her used to them getting in her mouth. They want to try to scrape them. I said, oh my god, that'll never happen. But I'm praying that she'll get used to the hygienist. Where she'll let them, you know, try to scrape the plaque off that way. But she said when she get 23, they won't be able to take her back and clean her teeth like that. So I said, I guess I'm going to have to find her an adult down here that can, you know, make sure her teeth. Because that's one thing I said. If their mouth is jacked up, you know, them bad teeth got a lot to do with your blood pressure, heart disease, and everything. Because that, that infection in your mouth. My hers look really good, and I'm impressed. And she wants them suckers brushed twice a day. She mouth washes them with some rinse, and she try to floss them. So I'm proud of her on that way. And her hygiene is like 100%, you guys. You be looking like, whoa. She smell herself to make sure she's not musty. And she wants some hair. And uh, I said, I, I can't fault her that way. And you know, she's always been like that. But her daddy was like that. Her daddy take two or three baths a day. Yeah. And he takes showers and two baths. And he had the prettiest skin. The prettiest feet. His feet were better than mine, baby. And his hygiene was on point. And then because he was he said um he was um a nurse. And he said that's why people um liked about him, because he was tall, dark, and not gay. I said, don't say that. Because I'm just letting you know. And um, yeah. But we're on our way to the children's hospital. It's about a 30-minute drive. And I'm just introducing myself today again. My name is Daphne Ball. And I want you to share, like, and subscribe my videos. Come in and I want you to be like family. And we're in the process of doing a whole lot of stuff. Like I said, I'm gonna try to make a, I'm gonna make a cake today. 
in my toaster oven to see can it be done. And I got this Oster toaster oven from Walmart. When I went to Walmart down here, they didn't have it. So I ended up mm. going to um, mm. share it and pick it up. Pause. Alrighty. So yeah, be serious. I'm gonna try to make this pound cake in this my little toaster oven because it's supposed to toast, brawl, bake, um, air fry, air fry. So I'm gonna use it as a, I'm gonna bake me a cake. I'm gonna bake me a pound cake. The pound cake is gonna be really and truly. It's not. It's, it's, I'm gonna put it in a bun pan, but it's gonna be like a cake cake. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use um, cake mix. And I'm gonna do or I'm gonna do lemon Oreos. But I've done this before from scratch, but I'm gonna do it like this to see because I don't want to do all these ingredients and it don't turn out right. But I'm I'm pretty sure it's gonna turn out amazing. And I'm gonna uh, put it in a in a bun pack and cook it and uh, make my batter mm -hmm. and then crush my Oreo mm -hmm. or my uh, lemon Oreos up in there and bake it. And then my I'm gonna make um cream cheese icing and um mm -hmm. put it on the cake and then crush um or uh, lemon Oreo cakes, um, uh, cookies up on it. Cause I did it before, but I used, um, the, uh, chocolate Oreos and it came out really good. And I used, like, I, I had made like, um, used white, made a white cake. It was amazing. It was good. Everybody, everybody liked it. Good. Yeah. But if I told them it was just too sweet for me, I can't touch that all that sweetness, baby. That's too much sugar. Be going crazy. But BC is we are on our way. And uh, my daughter just called me. So that's pause. She's on her way to work. Why don't you turn the air off? It's kind of hot now. I didn't turn the air off. I said LaDonna. Oh. And LaDonna's wearing flip flops today. I'm trying to integrate her to wear flip flops without tearing them up. She normally tear them up. So Celine, I got Celine song from Dillard. So I, um, I'm hoping that she. Um, you know, like them and try not to, she'll twist the feet and stuff and break them. So, hopefully, with these, she like them how she walk in them. They'll survive her. But I'm trying to get her little girly stuff, so I'm going to have to go to Walmart and get her some shorts and some t-shirts. That's what she wear for the summer. So, she like them. Um, you know, Walmart got them. What's the little t-shirts and little, we got little sayings and stuff on them. Like, we go there and get them there, get them them. I gotta get about four or five t-shirts and four or five pairs of shorts. I get to like the men's shorts, you know, come down to the knees. So she has some cute to wear for the summer. Match up the little shirts and stuff with the shorts. Baby, I be telling people don't sleep on Walmart. Walmart be having it going on, huh? Walmart having some cute little stuff. Mm -hmm. I got some cute little dresses and stuff there. Walmart do good. Yep, but it looks like it's gonna rain. I don't know. We might have five minutes and wear some shoes or down. Mm. It's just hazy looking outside. One from raining yesterday, the other day. Did it rain yesterday? It rained Sunday. Oh, I thought it rained yesterday. <laughs> For some reason. Well, this weather is bipolar. How are you guys doing today? It's like it's going to be a beautiful day. What is 64 degrees? One thing. But it's, like I said, my house is cold. I got a, my, my house is an older house. And it's a brick house. And um, it's a brick house. And my house is an older house. It's a brick house. So once you get it, it's either hot or cold. That's it. So it's it's by the air. It's got it real cold. My son talking about it's cold. I said, do not cut that heat on and do not touch anything. Because by noon, it'll be almost 90 degrees up in there. These people are driving like the end of pay some a snail but my appointment ain't to 845 so I need to low key road and I can't I'm not gonna drive the 80, 80 speed limit that they say you can drive. I'm just gonna drive like 70 75 try to get there. I'm trying not to get into the eight o'clock traffic but I wanna be there on time so I wanna get there by at least 820. Cause she gotta be the 845. I don't wanna have to be sitting long cause she gets fidgety. And uh, I'm trying to put my phone on the charger where she'll have um, with some headphones where she can listen to some music. So that'll kind of get her from what's called. She didn't have a bowl of cereal this morning, you guys. So I'm going to have to get her some lunch or something when we get out. I was thinking about going to IHOP and picking up some meal, but I just don't want to 
just depends on how I feel. So now you want some IHOP for breakfast this morning? No, I don't know. I'm gonna see, that's it. We're not getting it. Yeah, it's no. baby. So, I really um had an omelet yesterday morning for breakfast. Exactly. And I don't know. Huh. But we had a good supper last night. We had um, beef sears. We had um, turkey cutlets and I cut them in half and seasoned them and put a little olive oil in the skillet and um, seared them. They were really good. With um, onion powder, garlic powder, a little complete seasoning, salt and pepper. They were really good. And then I get, and I love sweet peas with potatoes. And I cook them like that. And I put a little bit of evaporated milk in them because I love them. That's how my grandmother cooks them. I had them and they had green beans. And I made mashed potatoes for a little dollar. We had a good meal. I said I'm going to start cooking more at home. I think I'm, I'm making spaghetti today. And I got a, I'm not going to make much. I try, I'm, I try not to make a whole bunch. But I said I'm just like my grandmother. I cook like I cook for 59,000 people. And so I'm just going to use a pound to get a little pound, I think I like a little pound thing, a pound and a half of meat, because I like a lot of meat when I spaghetti. I don't like no spaghetti, but like it's anemic and, and uh, it's on a diet. You know, my spaghetti don't be on a diet. And uh, we're going to have that. I think we got, we got bell pepper onion in on. So we're going to have that. And I even, you know what, be serious? I got a taste. Want me some chicken and dressing for some reason. And I was telling my daughter about it. My daughter to my mama. Hold up. Now, if you finna make some chicken and dressing, don't make a whole lot, because you know you you be trying to put that big old car in come put this big pan in my oven. I'm not. I'm not. Yeah. I'm, gonna do, I, I'm, I'm starting to do better with stuff like that. Because I said, you know, I don't want, I don't like to waste food. So I give away, away a lot of food because I don't want to go back. Now, my son is a human garbage disposal, right. another thing. He eats up every goddamn thing that's left over. Crazy. If you don't want it or if you do want it, he's going to eat it up. He won't ask you. That's my pet peeve. Ask me, do I want it? Just don't get, get he'll just. Mm. Well, it was in the refrigerator a day. A day? Mm. Let those can stay in there for five days. What that mean? I say, but did you buy it? <laughs> what that makes me mad when he does that. And I say, I'm trying to be, a, I'm trying to, um, uh, what, baby? Mm. We ain't going to, we going to, we're not going there. We're going our way, Little Rock. Huh? Yeah, we're we going there, but she's like, I don't know what the, huh? we're going to children. Huh? We're going to children's. We're going all the way up huh? there. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I don't know where she think we're going, baby. Mm -hmm. I think she think, she think we're going to mm -hmm. Mickey mm -hmm. D's, y'all. Mm -hmm. We're going to get that on the way coming back. Mm -hmm. Right. Mm -hmm. Right, man. Mm -hmm. We're going all the way to Little Rock. Your teeth looking today. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we're going to children's. It's gonna be all right. Look at the car like animals. But yeah, people, we having a it's a beautiful day. Like it's gonna be a beautiful day. It might be a hot day. I want to get a little shopping here. I don't know. But with the dumb sometimes, when she want something to eat, she won't eat it. Now I don't know what changed her. Cause normally be serious, she would eat her food. But now she eat her fries. But she won't eat her burger. So does she get home? And she'll drink a pop, her, her tea. So I be trying to um, make sure that I'm close enough to home where I get her meal and it be hot. And um, she'll, uh, yeah. I don't know. I don't know what started that. Mm -hmm. And you know, McDonald's don't start serving lunch till 10 or 10 30. So it's only 7. By the time we get out of dentist, it'll be 9 something. She'll still have an hour. So what I think I'm going to do is. I'm gonna. Hmm. Let's go to a store. No, what I think I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna diddle down the drive slow and come back. And it'll be about 10. I'm gonna be 9, be 9 45 by 9. It usually take them about 30 minutes for her. So it's gonna be 9 30 by 9 40 or something like that. We, we need children. It'll be 9, it's almost 10. So by the time we get back home and toward the McDonald's, It'll be time for her to get some lunch. Yeah. So, yeah. And I, and I tell my son, my son fussed about a game at McDonald's, but I told him, I said, that was the first meal that she ever ate. 
after we found out she had autism, she would not eat anything. Only thing I got her to eat, she stopped eating. Only thing I was able to get her to eat was she had lost so much weight. LaDonna got so little and skinny. My husband said, they gonna block us up. We going to jail for LaDonna. So LaDonna, I mean, she was so thin. You guys, and she was skinny and she was tall, like, but she looked immense. She was so little. When I tell y'all, I wish I could find a picture of her. I got a couple pictures of her when she was teeny tiny. And so the only thing I was able to do was to trick. I said, well, maybe I can go get some baby food. I got that Gerber um, food in them big jars that they get the toddlers. And she would eat like the lasagna, the spaghetti, um, those foods. And then I was able to get her the cereal in the big jars with the, you know, the oatmeal and stuff. She ate that. And then I buy applesauce. And then she drank BA Fusion. That's what she ate. From two, almost three, all the way up to about, ooh, she had to be about six, seven, seven, before she started eating food. food. But it maintained her weight. And then one day my daughter came and got her. My daughter used to drop her off um, in the mornings and um, mm. pick her up. And she picked her up and took her to McDonald's. And got a McDouble fry and a sweet tea. And she would eat that. And she ate that every day for lunch. That's all she eat. But other than food, food, no. So I, I kind of can see why she stuck on it because that's like a ritual. And when my son, oh my God, she eat McDonald's. I said, okay, there's no difference if you eat whatever you eat. But yeah, that's why she's so crazy about McDonald's. That's the only thing she ate for the, forever. And she just started, maybe, I don't know, but she eats something. Now, she'll eat a salad, everything on the salad, but she won't eat vegetables. So, I have to make sure she gets vitamin C. You know, I buy those uh, Minute Maid, um, Zero Sugar, but they got vitamin C. She'll drink them. I make sure she get them. And um, I'll get, you know, because I don't want her to gain weight, but she drink a lot. You would think she eats a lot, but she drinks a lot more than she eats. But yeah. He says we're on up the highway and I'm trying to drive. I'm not driving the speed limit. I'm driving 65. Speed limit is 85. It's 75. I can be going. I'm at 70 now, so I'm not trying to drive. I'm trying to get there at a decent time. And I don't want to be in all that goddamn traffic when I get here. Get there. So that's another thing why I'm not just. You know, yeah. But I want to get there at a decent time where I can park and I can go in there by 8 20, 8 15, and get a signed in. And she said, Yeah, sometimes they call early, but most times they don't call her early because they already have their little slot filled for somebody to come in at 8 o'clock. So they, they kind of figure they're going to take 45 minutes. So, yeah. But she's got to come up here anyway because LaDonna needs a. Uh, Hepatitis C or B, some shot. But I told her she goes to the children's clinic down here, and they're part of the children's here. And so I was telling her doctor, I said, well, when she go up here, I said, um, when they give me an appointment for her to get her teeth clean, can we just get her shots and everything while she's there? And that way, and um, everything will be done. And I think she's going to end up having a pap smear. So I said, I want to do all that stuff. They're going to figure out how to do it while she whatever, you know. So, we got to figure it out. Because I do want her to be healthy. And she is a pistol. And for us, you know, she know what a needle look like. And she, mm -hmm. she if anything with a point, she see it. No, even with a pick. Now, if I try to pick her hair out with a pick, she not going for it. That's how she know a point. Some kind of, some kind of way, she done been stuck some kind of way. So, but I ain't stuck her. But, you know, she know a needle because but uh, her aunt gave her, her, she got her shots. I said, you ain't made a fool of no more. So, yeah. But Donna is a mess. Mm. But we are headed, headed out of town. And this is where we would go if we would get cheddars. But cheddars don't open until 11. I'm not hanging around until 11. Or 10. I'm not hanging around. 11? Well, cheddars open at 11, Nima? Yep. Not hanging around. And I would get some <laughs> shotgun damn people. Um, pretty much 11. See, everything opens at 11. And her appointment, and really, truly, I should have got an appointment at 9. 
Now, what would your dumb butt get your tail in front of me going, um, going, um, 70? Okay, you should have stayed behind me. That's a pet peeve of mine. But you guys, I'm going to get off of this, and uh, y'all have a good day. I want y'all to share, like, and subscribe. As I said, we're going to children's today. And then I'm going to make that cake and show y'all how it looks and um, see how it bakes in the oven. Because, you know, my stove is down, so I'm going to do that. Be serious. I love you guys. I want you to share, like, and subscribe. And this is Daphne Ball coming to you. Today is Tuesday. Good morning, gorgeous. Bye.